Welcome to Artists of the Mar, where we deal with nothing but hip hop. Today we got a special guest, you know what I'm saying? My boy. It's the real type. In the fucking building. Young boy. A couple bottles, nigga, we just want more. A celebration like my goon is coming home. Got the swipey on the low. Press playing on my niggas on gold. Yo, bro. Thanks for pulling up on us, gang. Right, you know, it's much love, man. I appreciate you, bro. All right. All right, let's get started. It's one know What's the first thing we could expect coming 2024? A crazy rollout. I just dropped a single, Protect My Peace, uh, produced by my man Put on the Beats. Um, got a couple more singles dropping within the next few weeks. Got another EP dropping. Crazy summer lined up, so I'm excited. A lot of shows coming, so. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Bro, we've seen you been going crazy over the years, you know what I'm saying? Investing in yourself as a musician and everything. Let me ask you a question. What's your favorite feature? Because you've done a good amount, you know what I'm saying? My favorite feature? Let's see. Uh, where do we start? But nah, I got, um, I got a crazy feature about to come out. Shout out to uh, Philly Zone Core. We got Crazy John, the title celebration is coming real soon. Real, real soon. Probably within the next week or two. So. I'm looking forward to that shit. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, so let's say it like this, right? Where are you from and what made you start making music? Uh, originally, uh, County Boys. Shout out all the county and them. Um, you know, know that. Quite some time. Family from Rochester. Was born in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Uh, came down here when I was young, six, five, six years old. Been here for quite some time. Uh, back and forth from Jersey to Philly. Uh, Facts. But highly comfortable in the county. Facts. You know what I mean? So. I respect that. What made you start making music? Uh, music been in my family since I was, before I was born. My grandfather, my uncle played piano. Rest in peace, my cousin Navi, man, Ivan. Uh, he could play any instrument by ear. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? So from guitar to keyboard to organ, it's been in my family. Singers in my family, my sister singing the choir. And music's just been a part of my life my whole life. So. All right, so if you could describe your sound, how would you describe someone who's never heard your music? What I tell people, I've lived this life like three times. So if it's coming from uh, from church music to soul to jazz to anything that makes you move, uh, real hip hop. Like so, and I'm 92, baby. So yeah. it's coming from the real spitters from Philly to you know what I mean the cadence of New York. Anything I'm really comfortable with doing anything behind the microphone. So. Yeah, are we getting a project this year, gang? Like, what's what's popping? Multiple, multiple. 30 clip. What they say, what the young boys say with a switch on it. I got a I yeah. 30 of them things coming up. No way. And I'm not just talking. You landed so fire. Check my Instagram, at the real type 2 on Instagram. Uh, a lot of stuff coming very, very quickly. So prepare yourself. So. Let me ask you a question, right? So I've been tapped in for real ones now. How does it feel to get a lot of support? You know what I mean? Because niggas really don't really have a fan base, but you definitely got one, bro. That when you drop, niggas support you, brother. What they tell them? Five or five thousand, we gonna rock shows. Facts. So at the end of the day, I've been in this game since what is years? It's getting the thirteenth year. They say some wisdom for all the artists out there. They say it take about thirteen years to really be put on. And ironically, this is my thirteenth year. So Facts. just coming. I put it to you like this. My mom say it's already written, Hell so yeah. it's only a matter of seconds. that something uh, glorious about to happen. So. Bro, how'd you get tapped in with all the Noto shit? You be killing them Noto shows. Like, Yo, you gotta talk about that, gang. So, Even your last one you just did was crazy. Yeah, man, man. Definitely sold out John and Noto. Shout out my brothers over there, man. Draymond and all them, bro. But uh, I put it to you like this. My man, Rich Quick, he did an interview probably before he passed. Probably about like seven, eight, eight years ago. He got on the podcast and he said, uh, this is when we were just doing radio interviews. Podcast wasn't even booming yet. He said, the way you get on, if you're an artist, you go to a show, you get cool with the promoter. And this is when shows used to have promoters, like real promoters. So what he said was, you want an opportunity, you're going to get cool with the promoter, you slide to a couple shows, you pay your fee, see how you get on. And as soon as they give you that opportunity, it's really up to you what you do to it. Um, so, you got to take that opportunity. Yeah, exactly. So it's stepping stones. Not for everybody. These days, you got social media that's bad passing a lot of that. Facts. But when I came up, it was definitely a different time and age where if you were there and you made yourself present, Show who we were. Once they give you the opportunity, it was really whatever you did to it. So shows like Voltage with Sean Song and stuff like mm -hmm. that ended up boosting my career. I was opening Hell up yeah. for artists that I thought I could never open up for. Hell yeah, I see that. Yeah, it got to the point where I was so comfortable with it 
that it's like a blessing to really be uh, given the opportunities that I do now. So. You ever feel like you got weight on your shoulders? Because you can feel and appreciate the times that you have capitalized. Do you know what I'm saying? Because with this music, shit, it's all about capitalizing. Absolutely. And the times where you've needed to capitalize, you have. You ever feel the pressure? I seen what was my joint last time. Yeah. Pressure, you know what I mean? We don't bend, we don't break. But at the end of the day, it was built. So it wasn't easy to just go out and do shows in front of a thousand people. We did the mat this year. That joint was sold out in 35 minutes. That shit was one of the craziest shows we did with two rare D's 30 and all them. So, yeah. you know what I mean? Stuff is pushing at a, at a, at a very fast pace, but when you prepare and you got preparation, uh, it minimizes a lot of mistakes. So. When you stay focused and put one foot behind the other, you're gonna get what you're destined to. And also, you gotta speak that shit into existence, man. Manifestation is one of the most important things. I've been screaming this for 10 years of my life that this shit was gonna happen. So it's only a matter of time. I'm just glad to be here and talk with y'all and let y'all know what's about to happen. Hell yeah. Let me ask a question. What do you think about the Philadelphia music scene? It's changed. So, and, Definitely and I'll put it to you like this, some people have an opinion on it, I had a, a slim opinion on it years ago, and then I opened my eyes, I had to humble myself and look at what it really was. Like if you were a real spitter, they'd be like, yo, I don't want to see all this dance and stuff and all the yeah. mumble rap and stuff, and the Uzis, they got mad at Uzi when he first came out, and now Uzi, one of the biggest artists in the city. Now Philadelphia is, um, believe what you want, there might have been some gatekeeping going on, Hell but at yeah. the end of the day, uh, Philadelphia has one of the most repertoire, like craziest repertoire of artists from from just singers to uh, rock stars to rappers to uh, hip hop makers playing the instrument. We yeah. are the pinnacle and we could have been the new, new New York, no bullshit. And Philly is really one of them cities that will never lose talent oh, yeah. and it's always hidden. But I hope we really do break the barrier and, and a lot of these Philly artists get up out of it as opposed to. So. All right, let me ask you a question. What are the three things you need to be a top musician today? Your three. Everybody's three is different. Some people's like, be that nigga. Some people's like, you don't even wake it's a up. It's combination. So I would say three top things to become a successful top artist. For the you. For me, uh, for what I do, work. Resilient. And uh, I stay constantly working because you can never sharpen your sword too much. Okay. So if, I, if you're a rapper, you're a musician, you're, you're playing an instrument, you can never stop working. So it sounds cliche, but at the end of the day, if you keep working, it's, something is going to pay off. Uh, that would be one. Two is believing in yourself. That's where it comes with the manifestation and telling yourself, like, forget everybody else, look yourself in the mirror. And there's uh, ways of your books and stuff that if you read, you tell yourself something nine times, it's bound to happen. The universe has to give it back. So manifestation is definitely one of them. And enjoy this. Enjoy yeah. the journey. Live in the moment type before shit. Before you know it, that shit be where you wanted to get. Cliche and you get the money and then, like Big said, more money, more problems. So yeah. just not understand that when you're on a journey, and I had to tell myself this, like, enjoy the journey. Me, shout out my man George, man. He ran with me the past two years. And, and this, we would have never been in places if we didn't believe and, and really work towards this. But now that I look back on it, right where I'm at now, it's like some people are looking the outside, looking in, be like, yo, look at everything that's coming to you. Bro, I had the most fun at my shows when I had 10, 15 people at my shows. Yes. Yeah, I could do whatever I wanted, you know what I mean? Now it's getting to the point where if you go and talk to labels and stuff like that, there's a structure behind it. Facts. So if you're you an artist, business, know what right. you're getting into, read the books, understand and, and do research because this might not be everything is cracked up to be. So, and I know you see stuff on social media and stuff, they talk about conspiracies and all that, but the industry is a nasty place. So if you don't prepare yourself and protect yourself and go in properly, getting an entertainment lawyer, uh, making sure your stuff is uh, patented, making sure your name is patented, oh, yeah. you really will walk into some traffic. So, oh, yeah. And when you're in your own lane, you ain't got no traffic, so just stay on that. You know oh, yeah. so, all right, I like that. Absolutely. All right, so let's say it like this, right? We're wrapping up now. What's the last things you would like to say to your fans? Like, what would you generally want them to know? People who support you all the time. First and foremost, I love you on the death. Hell without yeah. y'all, I'm nothing. It sounds cliche, but I really would be nothing without you. And uh, just know that I'm never going to stop. Uh, we got kids to feed. Shout out to Mari, my beautiful son. He just turned four. But, yeah, it's, um, we on a tear this year, and I'm not going to stop. And everything that we destined for, we're going to get. I promise you. Are we out, gang? Okay? <laughs>